the interaction between the, the machine and the, and the physical body. So you don't notice anything different, like with or without the device, like you feel exactly the same as... Um, I think, as far as physically, I, I don't notice it's even there. I, I, on a day-to-day -day basis, I completely forget it's there. You need to be careful about it, I don't know. No, I completely forget. I did some extremely scientific experiments in the very beginning, hitting them with a hammer uh -huh. to see how hard you have to hit them to break them, and it's extremely hard. Um, they're very, very resilient and robust. So I, I don't... I, I'm not concerned that one day I'm going to hit the desk and it's going to shatter hmm. because I just don't think it's going to do that. Um, as far as my day-to-day -day experience is concerned, I do feel different because I interact with technology in a different way. My relationship with technology has changed because it's become so seamless. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to... I find my keys and my phone and whatever in the morning. I don't have to think about this at all until I need to use it. And then it's just there. It's like using your hands or your feet. You don't think about it, you just do it. And that's really a different way for me f to interact with technology. Do you think there is a chance to put like more microchips in the in the body, like one in the in the brain, one here, and having them interact between them? Do you think about like a circuit or inside the Yeah, the I mean, it's, it's possible. People have talked about um, ways in which implanted medical devices could communicate with each other um, for various reasons. Um, so it's possible. I mean, we're very interested in how we're going to find different applications for medical type technologies. Um, so they, they may become more commonplace because if we find a, a way to enhance someone uh, using a brain stimulator, for example, if we can stimulate the brain in a certain way that increases your memory to such an extent that it's something that you must have, then why not have it? Yes, it's an invasive procedure. Yes, there are risks associated with it. There's a lot of research going in on the medical level to try and mitigate a lot of these risks. Um, we may find that we enter a society where if you don't have this type of technology, that then you're at such a disadvantage that really you've got no choice. It's a bit like a mobile phone. For a long time, I didn't want a mobile phone. Now I've got one. Society almost dictates that you have to have one. Um, uh, we may see a... A, a similar point with implantable technologies it it doesn't matter whether you want one or not you have to have one to function in society